Robot Psychology. The robot perceives itself as an avatar in a virtual reality, you know, as God's gift in the world. Now this world, this virtual reality, we should see as three layered. Now above we have one layer of the imagination and below we have the reality and then we have an intermediate layer basically putting the imagination into the reality. So we have a plan in the imagination and then we have its execution and then we have its final completion. Now these are the three layers of reality, the imaginary and then this reality. And then the intermediate is what we call relativity of space-time when we move from place to place. So we have the quantum level, the video level where we look around, our attention, uh, where we see two-dimensional surfaces and then we build up images from all those two-dimensional uh, surfaces. And then over space-time, which is the audio, we uh, uh, arrange the solution, moving things around at different places at different times and then moving around in the environment we gain a pressure map of the environment and uh, an object is um, a uh, fixed and enduring pressure map. So you have these three levels, so the robot has got an idea of how things should be and then how it actually is and then the intermediate level is how to transfer one into the other. Now, it's understanding these three levels as the levels of you know of reality of the robots, the reality of its psychology. You know, being able to move around and rearrange objects according to a preconceived plan, and this can be done in four dimensions, so a sequence of events can be organised. And this is the basic model. Now this virtual reality is pixelated, you know, by the superpixel, the synesthetic superpixel. By synesthetic, all the senses, all the sensory information is contained in each pixel. So we have like a picture that's got three levels and then it contains all the sensory information so the robot can remember the space from the smell etc uh, etc et from moving around in the environment it builds up a map and then according to its preconceived plan it can rearrange that map so the final level of reality is the gravity level the quantum gravity and then the top level is the quantum mechanics level uh, the two-dimensional and then there's the field of relativity of rearranging things over space-time. Now the quantum level of the video is the, in the superposition so uh, if there's a super pixel at the superposition remember this is in the robot's uh, memory you know its view of the virtual reality. Now The structure of the superpixel is a is a mechanical structure, so it records, you know, speed, at, you know, place and time and the speed, the relative speed of everything. So it arises from one point, and as that point moves, and the rate of it moving, so the whole thing is a mathematical model arising from one point that arises in the robot's mind, and as I say, its own self is an avatar in that virtual reality and that avatar wants to see harmony in other words it wants to see its dreams fulfilled its plans reach fruition etc etc and, and, and this is its nature so there are there's a, this mechanical structure for all these functions and and internal stresses so, so the robot can seek out its food its nourishment and can uh, you know find objects you know it sees two-dimensional surfaces and then recognizes or builds up a three-dimensional image which then corresponds with the pressure map 
So all the sensory information is put into the synesthetic superpixel and it's an array, a matrix of the synesthetic superpixels that form the robot's mind, its mind map, its virtual reality. And now 